Divine Truth Feedback Jesus, Mary and others give personal or group feedback to people who have asked for personal assistance. Jesus and Mary give personal feedback to Graham Sutherland and Rui Henriquez on the subject of personal responsibility to love. This session was recorded on the 17th of November 2015 in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. G'day everyone. I'm here with Jesus and we are recording another personal feedback session. Uh, today we're going to be discussing actually two people's separate emails, mm -hmm. one from a man called Graham and another from a man called Rui. I think that's how I say your name, Rui. Uh, <laughs> uh, it could be Rui, could be Rui. I think you're from Portugal and I'm not really sure how the Portuguese pronunciation is, but <laughs> hopefully you'll forgive me. Um, <laughs> okay, so I received an email from Graham this yes. week. Yes. Um, and I'll just read that out. Sure. Both of these and emails relate to assistance groups. Yes. So maybe we should say that at the beginning. So both of them relate to assistance groups. Both of them are people who want to help other people. Yep. And we want to, the reason why we want to uh, demonstrate both of them is we want to show the contrast in what it truly means to help somebody and, what it, and when you're taking full responsibility for the own, your own choices and decisions that you're making to help others, and when you're trying to involve other people addictively in the choices and decisions you make. Yeah. And so what we want to do is illustrate the contrast between those two things yeah. by, and hopefully in the process, Graham, help yourself to, uh, to understand that some of your addictions are in play in terms of your desire to help other people here yeah. and some of your addictions are in play in terms of wanting our assistance as well. Yeah, so. yeah. And obviously we've chosen uh, this email because we feel it can help a lot of people actually, the feedback we're going to give to Graham. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and I feel also Rui's example here, mm -hmm. which is a very positive example, yeah. and can also help a lot of people to see how they can help divine truth on the planet by taking personal responsibility and making personal decisions that they don't have to pass by us yeah. <laughs> to engage and engage those particular decisions in a personally responsible and loving manner. Yeah. Mm. All right. So the first email from Graham. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. I posted an invite on the thread Nikki had started for the assistance group. Yes. So this is on the Divine Truth Forum. Yes. Uh, Which Nikki. is run by Nikki in yep. the England. Yep. Yes. Who set that up, by the way, by on his own back. Yes, it's his initiative. <laughs> it's his that initiative, forum. and yeah. so, certainly we've given him some assistance here and there. But uh, but again, he's another person who's like Rui, who's yeah. who's done it all on their own back with their own effort, their own time, their own resources, yeah. and he's fully engaged with it. You know, we give him feedback and so forth. But he asks for that feedback first. But he doesn't demand it. He doesn't expect it, you yeah. know, and so forth. And also, he has the attitude that ultimately the forum is his gift. It is his responsibility yes. to to ensure that a standard of love is maintained. is maintained. There, he doesn't ever project at us that we We're need responsible. to help him or that we need to yes. um, police that area. Yes, we do give him assistance because but, but again because he, he he knows that if he asks for some assistance it will help him understand the issues of love yes. but he he doesn't involve us in the day-to-day -day operation of it he doesn't expect us to give him all these accolades and everything <laughs> all the time and you know to, yeah. to for, for doing it and he doesn't expect us even to financially support it yeah. um, he's running everything in the way that we would want it to be run at this point in time yeah. and he's doing so because he had a desire to do it it was his idea he he got it up and going yeah and now obviously we've through. had the idea many years ago to have a forum but we have not had the means or the amount of time available to run such a thing in harmony with love yeah 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 takes a lot of Nikki's time. It does take a lot yeah. of his time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Graham said, look, he's posted an invite, <coughs> and the invite is, he, he'd sent me a previously short email. He wants to invite people if they would like to stay with him before or after or in between the series of assistance groups we're running in 2016, 2017. Yes. But, which by itself looks like a very kind invitation. It does. <laughs> it does. Okay. So he posted an invite on the thread that Nikki started for the assistance groups. I added a bit saying that people need to be able to leave if they behave unlovingly or if I am behaving unlovingly and we aren't able to address the problem. Mm -hmm. it, Obviously it is his house, yeah. so he ha has the right to say such a thing. Yeah, yes. to ask people to leave. 
Then he says, it got me thinking about how little we know about what is really loving. Mm. <laughs> Very good point. Yes. <laughs> That's why we're having the groups. Yeah. <laughs> in education and love, because uh, we feel very few people know what is loving and what isn't. <laughs> Mind you, Graham has known you for longer than I have known you. Yes, he's known me now probably eight or even perhaps nine years. Yeah. Um, and he's heard you speak all of that time. Mo most of that time. Um, yep. He does not know me very well, though. No. Um, because he still can't feel me very well. Yeah as we will soon find out yeah. in this particular yeah. <laughs> in <the> email. <laughs> he says, if it should come to the point of considering someone having to leave, would we be able to ask your assistance to determine what is actually loving and unloving in the situation? Mm. This is the indication that he does not know me at all. <laughs> <laughs> and or we'd like me. to discuss <laughs> the implications says, of such a request. Thanks, Mary. Mm. Okay. So, so, so seemingly this is an innocent request, yep. an innocent request. He, Graham has the desire to help other people and he does have in his heart a desire to help other people. He, you know, he, he has um, this underlying feeling of natural love towards people mm -hmm. and wanting to assist them. Mm -hmm. However, there are quite a number of addictions in his helping other people too. Yeah. And, and some of his addictions are already showing in the email. Yeah. And there are quite a number of addictions that we know he personally has uh, yeah. through our association with him that also come into play when he helps other people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is something we'd like to discuss with you, Graham. Yeah. Mm. So the first point is really about taking personal responsibility for the gift that you want to give, yes. any gift that you want to give. Yes. What Graham is actually doing here is he's saying, look, I don't want to be completely responsible for Well, that. firstly, he needed the forum yep. to enact his gift. Yep. So he needed somebody else to facilitate the giving of this gift. Mm -hmm. That in itself means that there is a d degree of dependency already displayed yep. on somebody else giving a gift first. And when they give a gift first, then Graham will participate in giving his own gift next. Yes. He doesn't want to engage the entire process of giving his gift. Yeah. He wants to share the process of giving the gift. And there are two or three main motivations why a person feels this way. One is that they want approval for mm -hmm. giving of the gift. Mm -hmm. In other words, they want some kind of um, honour or accept, you know, other people to honour them for giving the gift. Mm -hmm. The second one, which is more in line with Graham's, is he's afraid of making a mistake when he gives a gift. Yeah. Right, so he, he then needs to involve other people in the giving of his gift because he's concerned that if he does it the way he wants to do it, mm -hmm. that he may not know the lessons of love and he's terrified of actually make, getting it wrong. Yeah. Right? And this causes a lot of stagnation in his life, yeah. the terror of getting something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, though, that he doesn't have the terror of getting something wrong when it comes to physical things. Mm -hmm. He flies... Uh, motorized what do you call them parachutes paragliders and um, with no fear whatsoever <laughs> so so his fear isn't physical in nature mm -hmm. it is primarily spiritual and emotional in mm -hmm. nature mm -hmm. and this is where graham is struggling because he and can't see his emotional and spiritual fears yes and it's something that we have raised with him a lot isn't it, it? is so, yes. those particular issues yes now if i can just go back and clarify a couple of your statements sure you said the problem is that Graham's wanting to involve, so Nikki's gift of the forum, he's engaging with that gift in order to give his gift. Yes. In other words, he's not willing to set up his own advertisement yep. to share to somewhere else. Yeah. He's not even willing to create even a, maybe a page on the internet that allows people to share gifts with other people yep. Yep. that is independent of, you yep. know, divine truth or anything else. Yeah. Um, because that's a lot of effort obviously involved, yes. although Graham does have the skills to do such things, uh -huh. um, he hasn't wanted to engage the effort. Yes. Right. So there is, a, there is not wanting to take full to personal responsibility for the engagement of the gift here. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So my feelings though are, sure, if somebody else is giving a gift and you can piggyback your gift on yeah, the back yeah. of it, that, that's fine. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what we find is that Graham does, has made many suggestions to us about giving gifts to other people yeah. that we haven't been able to carry through for many reasons, some of which were money-based and some mm -hmm. of which were time-based, mm -hmm. um, but he himself has not done it. Yes. He's always made the suggestion that we do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that is taking, he's not taking personal responsibility to do it himself. He comes up with an idea, but then wants somebody else to do it for him. Yes. And this is very much a parenting thing. Yes. Yes. Um, and I thought just to give another example of this, not, it's not Graham's example, sure. but something that Nikki shared with me recently, someone yep. approached him who wasn't a member of his forum yes. and said, look, I love your forum, <laughs> yes. but I'm too afraid to join it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't want to be public. Yes. Um, so but in other words, there's no desire for transparency, no. which is a part of divine truth yes, teaching. To even own up that <laughs> yeah. you love divine truth. And there's no truth. desire to address her fear, which is part of divine truth teaching. Exactly. <laughs> But so already I'm, the sincerity is not great. Exactly. <laughs> and then she said, but I really love the assistance group series that's coming up. I'm going to attend one and I've done a lot of travel in my life and I would like to be able to offer to, e I don't know if it was to accommodate people but to, or to assist them in finding accommodation in Australia, people coming from overseas. Yeah. Um, so, Nikki, what can you do to help me offer that gift? Yes. And then and, and once, very off. <laughs> once you've done that, that yeah. is off, yeah. once you've done that, would you be able to help me to decide who's actually an addiction when they approach me with me wanting to give the gift? Yes. So this, if you like, is almost a, a more extreme example of what we're talking about with Graham. Yes, so I with Graham's, it's a far less extreme example. He's, he? he's a member of the forum. Yeah, he's, he's openly yeah. telling who he is. Yeah. So he's not confronted by being truthful about himself. Yeah. He's, he's openly saying that he wants to help uh, rather than doing it all behind closed doors. Yeah. He's, he's willing to address any of his fears about privacy or security or other yeah. things. Yeah. And so, you know, he obviously he's in nowhere near <laughs> the same position as the lack of responsibility demonstrated in this email to Nikki yeah. privately. Yes, yes, yes. So, but the issue of not, of wanting someone else to adjudicate, if you like, or to to maintain a certain level of love or to discern what is loving and what is not. Or to even not. be responsible for maintaining love on your property, which you're responsible for yes. doing. Yeah. To make somebody else responsible for that process is actually quite unloving in itself. Yeah. And this is where Graham doesn't see the unlovingness of his request of, his of us. Request. Yeah. He is giving a gift to others. He's doing it from, a, from what appears to be, I should say, <laughs> yeah. a loving motivation. There are some addictions there, Graham, yeah. which we can raise. But, but there, is, there is a loving underlying motivation to help other people. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to do it. But now what he wants, yeah. he's, he's afraid of doing it wrong. So now what he would like is that is that someone else adjudicates mm -hmm. and takes responsibility for the level of love displayed on his pro on his own yep. property which he is personally responsible for yeah and that is not taking personal responsibility for your life and there's a lot of issues with it isn't there yeah, yeah the a large number of issues with it the, the first one you said that graham avoids his fear of making mistakes yes and so he's afraid interestingly he focuses on the mistakes of others quite frequently which is one of the reasons why he avoids his own fear, because there's so much judgment coming out of him mm -hmm. towards other people making a mistake yep. that he fears that that amount of judgment will be coming towards him when he makes a mistake. That's right. And so he avoids making any mistake by not taking any action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not being responsible for the actions he takes. Yeah. And sadly, something I've observed over the years is that Graham often interprets that you personally have made mistakes. Sometimes, when I, when, most of the time when I have not. When you haven't, <laughs> but because he, he has these fears about being emotionally sensitive, he cannot feel your motivations. He cannot feel no. why certain things happen in certain situations and not and in why others. Why they don't happen in others that seem or appear to him to, to seem be the, the same. same. Yep. Yeah. So he, he does, I agree, have a lot of level of critical feeling and judgment towards any mistakes. So yes, he's including obviously... Including his own. Yes, he's afraid obviously. of making mistakes here because yeah. he feels quite harsh on himself if he does... if he feels finds out he's made a mistake. Yes, uh, yeah. and obviously he has spirits around him as well who attack him for making mistakes and make him feel bad too, which yeah. is part of the attraction. Yeah. Mm. There's also the feeling of wanting someone to... Um, say what's right and what's wrong. Yes, without and taking personal responsibility for making that decision yourself. Yeah. So in other words, and, and this, there's a lot of subsequent problems with that. Mm -hmm. One is that you're never going to learn discernment of love. No. You're going to always place, if you always place your trust in another person being, you know, the discerning point of love, you're not going to ever learn what is loving and what isn't. Yeah. And so this is a very, you know, it's problematic placing 
responsibility onto another person, while it does alleviate the personal responsibility, it is also problematic in the sense that it also stops your own development. You miss, yeah. You miss the opportunity yeah. to work out what's loving for yourself yeah. in any situation. Now, obviously, he will, if he offers this gift, he will attract a number of different types of people. Some of those people may be people who want to use him. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, he would then feel, you know, uh, some kind of feelings about being used. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then he might have to do something about it. Interestingly enough, he also does not want to take responsibility for doing something about it and bearing the anger of the individuals involved. Exactly. So, so what he wants to do is place me or you in the firing line of other people's anger. Mm -hmm. And he can always say, but AJ said it was unloving or Mary said it was unloving. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I made that decision instead of taking personal responsibility for the decision. Exactly. And taking the anger that comes from others when you make a decision that, that is out of harmony with their addiction. Yeah. You know, that's what he doesn't want. Yes. He doesn't want to receive that. He's a, terribly afraid, in fact, yeah. of receiving the rage of other people. Yeah. Terribly afraid. Yeah. And therefore easily manipulated because of that fear mm -hmm. into not taking personal action. Yeah, and really um, what, what's playing out then is Graham wants other people to act like a parental figure yes in in his interactions with others someone who's going to yeah and some of this desire is childlike yeah but some of it's also pretty manipulative yeah and very quite you know very unloving yeah the childlike factor of it is he's obviously had a very overbearing parent and mm -hmm. we know he has yeah. had a very overbearing mother mm -hmm. who basically he's had to sort seek approval from for for a lot of his life and, and, you know, obviously that causes you then to be afraid of making choices and decisions. Yeah. So that's one issue. Yeah. The other issue, though, is not wanting to take responsibility for your decisions just in case it turns out bad mm -hmm. and people criticise the decision. Yeah. Or, um, uh, and thirdly, wanting to have other people responsible for the decision and that way you get away with the projection of anger. In other words, you are able to avoid the projection of anger or rage from people who are disappointed in your decisions yeah. by making a third party responsible for your <laughs> yeah. decisions. And you never have to feel like you stuffed it up because, or that you got it wrong, I should say, because you can always say, well, they, got they it wrong. said it. They yeah. got it wrong. And it, and, or they, uh, and what it's not we notice decision. that people who do this to us, because yeah. it is something that's unloving that's being done to us actually yeah. here, and they often put us in the position where th that we receive all the rage and anger from the other people that they've said, oh, but this is what Jesus and Mary said. Yeah. And we receive all the anger and rage while they sit back and go, oh, you know, I'm innocent of all this, you know. I, I can still be nice to those people and I'll still be friends with Jesus and Mary. I didn't cause all this, but you actually caused it all. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> By not taking personal responsibility for your own life. Yeah. And not taking personal responsibility for your own choices and decisions and placing the responsibility of deciding about love on somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, God doesn't let you get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very unloving condition. It is. It has a lot of negative consequences for yourself and the people around you. It does. And I mentioned as we were reading Graham's email how long Graham has been um, listening, listening to, to the words of divine truth. So he's not understanding some basic principles of free will here. Yeah. Not understanding some basic principles of love. And also I feel that this situation where he's offering this gift to people, it's a and the way that he's asking us to become involved in it is is showing him how he hasn't been engaging with the experiment of becoming more sensitive, facing his fears, engaging an on experiment to learn about what is love on his own. Yeah, particularly with his interactions with people. Yes. On his property, yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, you know, in other things, he is. Yeah. But but when it, like I said, when it comes to spiritual or or emotional, yeah. what he believes might be wrong yeah. or, or mistakes, yeah. he is very judgmental of himself and others, yeah. and also very frightened to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. And yet, unless he begins to engage with that process for himself and to learn and to have experiences that help him feel more and grow more and reflect, mm. he will always be reliant on a, 
who have a closed down heart mm -hmm. in terms of sensitivity to emotion, which means he won't feel what is love in mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. or in himself or so what is be, unloving. So he'll attract unloving situations without even being knowing what's going on. He'll or be kind aware. of clueless. Yep. And, and so he'll always be dependent on someone else to define love for him. Yes. But in a way that he won't really be able to feel or understand. Himself. Himself. Yes. And he, he's actually placing himself in kind of a, a very dependent yes. sort of position. Yes. Um, when he has this wonderful opportunity to begin his own... Independence. Independence. It's Independence Day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, you know, decide to do something that you think is loving, engage the process, work through the issues. <laughs> this Feel is, the this whole is what thing. a self-responsible person does. Yeah. But there's another insidious uh, part of this particular yeah. problem, and that is that this kind of emotion that Graham has is what sets up cult leaders yeah. and cults. Yep. Because what people do is they are unwilling to make their own choices and their own de decisions and take the consequences of their own actions. Mm -hmm. So what they do instead is they place the responsibility for those choices and decisions and actions on a person that they honour or respect. Mm -hmm. right? If that person is ha has character flaws or has uh, manipulative tendencies yeah. or has uh, some kind of desire for power and control, then they will love it. Mm -hmm. They will actually start to do what the person requests and attract many people around them who were giving this power to them, mm -hmm. which is the beginnings of a cult. Yeah. So basically what Graham's requesting of me here and your view is to be cult leaders. Yeah. That's what the soul impression is, the soul feeling coming at us. Someone else take charge of... Someone else take charge and responsibility for what I want to do. Yeah. Right, yeah. and somebody else take charge and responsibility for the outcome of it. Yeah, and this is how cults develop yeah. by a lot of people giving one person responsibility to take charge and control of what they do. Yeah, now that's not what God wants of you. What God wants of you is to determine and feel from God what God's love is, mm -hmm. and act in harmony with that love. Yeah. And what God wants you is to develop your abilities to both feel God, but also to feel what love is and work through the issues of what love is. God wants you to do that without being dependent on another person, including dependent on Jesus mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. God wants you to do it in your relationship between you and God. That's how God would like you to do it. And God knows that if you do that, there will be a large group of people, if there's a large group of people who do that, mm -hmm. there'll be a large group of people who come together naturally because they all recognise God's truth and God's love on the matter. Yeah. They'll come together and join together naturally. It won't be forced uh, upon them through some cult leader saying, you've all got to join together because of something. <laughs> and you do this and you do that with your life and you make this decision and you... And really all that happens in that scenario, whether it's a cult leader or just a manipulative, abusive person yes. who steps in, feeds the addiction in the, the other person who says, I'm afraid to make mistakes and take responsibility for my life. So I really want someone to help me with all my decisions yes. and make me feel like I've got a purpose even and that I'm doing the right thing. Yes. So the person and remember tells for them Graham, what to do. This is a flavor that's not related to physical things. No. So, so we've got to add that. Yep. Yep, it yep. continues, sorry. So his feeling is, please help me avoid these fears that I have about these, you know, emotional and spiritual matters. Not only the fears, the, the yeah. desire to avoid personal responsibility, which is, yep. a, which is not just a fear, but it's actually an unloving desire. Yes. Yep. 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 So I don't want to feel any of that stuff and mm -hmm. I don't want to take ultimate responsibility for my decisions mm -hmm. or what's happening in my life. Yes. Um, now, someone who wanted to be a cult leader, or who would just wanted to abuse Graham would step in and go, no worries. No worries, mate. I'm here for you. I'll do that for I'll you. I'll sort it out. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to do. Give me a bit of cash here and a bit of cash <laughs> there and I'll help you out. Or not even <laughs> Or not cash. even that. It might it even might just be, be the emotion. Just give me a sense of power and power, control. Or a sense of authority or a sense, sense of control or a yep. sense that I'm superior Important or whatever. Or whatever. Or knowledgeable or yeah. spiritual. Like if I wanted to feel like, yeah, I've got the goods. I know all this spiritual <laughs> stuff. No worries, Graham. I'd type I'll on look back. After you. I'll I'll look after you. You call me any time and I'll pop on down there and, and be the And unfortunately, Graham sees that as love. Yeah. That, that's the sad thing. 
because obviously that's what his parent has done. You know, his mum in particular has been the main guiding force in his life. Yeah. And that's obviously what she's done in the past as well. So he, he actually even feels that somebody doing that for him is love. Is love. And yeah. it's not actually. Yeah. It's, a, it's opposite to love. So Graham says, you know, it got me thinking about how little we know about what's really loving. Isn't that we're wonderful? Yeah. We're saying to you, Graham, what you're asking is not, <laughs> it's loving. not loving. Let this be the first lesson. <laughs> yeah. And, and start to take responsibility for really learning for yourself what isn't, what isn't loving. Yeah. And one, the way you do that, it, we're suggesting to you, is to um, decide what the gift is that you want to give. Put all of your effort and heart into the giving of that gift, not expecting anybody else to help you. Give the gift and when the outcome occurs, whatever the outcome be, determine what is loving and what is unloving in the outcome mm -hmm. for yourself. And if you need help to do that, certainly ask for assistance from somebody and you can certainly ask for assistance from us. But we're not going to make the decision for you. You mm -hmm. need to go through the process to do all of that for yourself. Yeah. We can tell you the principles involved, which, by the way, we've already told you 1,400 or I said, well, it's more than that now, hours of principles involved. Yes, on YouTube. <laughs> on, yeah. on, on, about love that, most of which, Graham, you have heard, <laughs> right? <laughs> been in attendance for and a lot of been in yeah. attendance for, yeah. at least. So, so the reality is you've already learnt a lot intellectually about yeah. it. Now what, we're what, what we'd are what we like to see happen for yourself is to engage the process more emotionally yeah. and actually work through these fears you have, particularly with the interactions you have with people yeah. and particularly the fear you have regarding, you know, being punished for things that you didn't know that you did wrong and things mm -hmm. like that. The, you know, God doesn't do those things to you even though your parent did. God doesn't do those things to you and God, God wants you to learn and the key is to allow yourself to go through the process of learning in a more natural way by taking personal responsibility for the emotional and spiritual parts of your life, just like you do for your physical part of your life. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. Graham does take pretty good personal responsibility of his life physically, yeah. although there are times when he does dangerous things. <laughs> and yeah. Which obviously, you yeah. know, is ignoring some basic principles of looking after your body. Yeah. But but spiritually and emotionally, he is always wanting to engage somebody else, share with somebody else in the situation that he's deciding upon. And unfortunately, this attracts people into his life that actually finish up using him and, and abusing him. Mm. And, uh, and there's very few people, unfortunately, that he has attracted in his life that have actually been kind and considerate to yeah. him as a result of this particular emotional injury. Yeah. yeah. And if we can contrast that again with, we spoke about Nikki at the beginning of this talk, and yes. I know that people know that, uh, me especially, but both of us do give some assistance to Nikki in helping him to to work through issues of love that occur on the, the forum. Yes, and in his personal life. And, and in his personal life. Mm. But the difference there is Nikki is very much engaged in taking personal responsibility for his own learning about love isn't he? Yes. He's, he's already done a lot of work in that area about developing his will yes. to, to know God and to know about love. He's, he's taking charge of experiences and offering gifts. He, he's saying, it's my responsibility and I'm so grateful I understand anything you give me. Is he gets a lot of correction. And which he which he humbly um, feels very grateful for right, actually yeah. and and yeah. desires as well yeah. which he humbly desires yeah now for, for yourself Graham you don't humbly desire correction mm -hmm. because you're too afraid of making a mistake yeah. see when you're so afraid of making mistakes it's very very hard for t somebody to tell you that you've made a mistake because then you feel so bad about yourself that you don't allow yourself to work through why you made the mistake yeah and this is part of the problem that Graham faces is that Whenever anybody tells him he's made a mistake, he feels so bad about himself and is not willing to feel that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. feeling and also doesn't see actually that he doesn't even need to feel that feeling, yeah. but he feels that feeling because of childhood issues. Yeah. And as a result of that, he's desperately going, don't tell me anything I'm doing wrong. Now, now what that causes you to do is to try not to do a lot of things wrong, mm -hmm. right? In, when you do that, you, you end up trying not to do many things. Yeah. And then when you do that, you don't do things, you don't do a lot right either. Yeah. You know, you don't take positive action to do yeah. things right either. Yeah. 
yeah. that's the problem with that state yeah. is it's very inert and uh, um, stagnant yeah. it causes you to stagnate it, and this is why one of the reasons why Graham has been stagnant in his progression is because he's so afraid of getting something wrong that he's not willing to engage what he believes is right and get God's feedback on yeah. the matter and he doesn't want to hear feedback personally mm -hmm. because he always then feels like he's done something wrong and then he feels bad about himself and then that feels terrible so yeah. he doesn't want to feel terrible so he doesn't yeah. want to hear what's yeah. actually yeah. going on either yeah. does that make yeah. sense and, and so a lot it's, of the a, it's sort of rod to exactly <laughs> for your own back sort yeah. of thing yeah. a lot of times he feels bad simply because he's judging himself for Correct. for what is a natural process that God designed us to learn, experience, yes. learn from our mistakes. Yes. He doesn't get to learn from his mistakes because he's no. so busy berating himself internally. And let's uh, see, Graham's idea of a mistake is completely different yeah. to God's too. Yeah. Graham's idea of a mistake is when you get something wrong. No, you know, God knows a whole heap of things in the universe, Graham, that you don't know and you and I may never know. <laughs> So therefore, you and I will always be wrong on some subjects. <laughs> yeah. God doesn't have a problem with that. God yeah. knows that to be a truth. Yeah. What God's concerned about is the mistakes that are made with regard to love. That's what God's concerned about. Even the email that you sent us is a mistake in love. Mm. And what we're trying to do is help you see the mistake in love, which is this desire you have to not take personal responsibility because of fears you have mm. regarding making mistakes. Yeah. Right? So, so ironically, your fear of making a mistake caused you to make, send us an email that was out of harmony with love, yeah. which actually made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. And this is what we notice often happens with yeah. people. They, yeah. Their fear causes them to take an action that's out of harmony with love that then causes them to make a mistake that they originally were trying to avoid. To avoid. <laughs> and our feeling is you don't have to berate yourself for the mistake. No. We'd love you to learn. Yes. Yeah. And, and God's feeling is the same. Mm. Now, now, God knows that every mistake you make in harmony that's out of harmony with love has an automatic penalty upon your soul, which you're already feeling, right, today. You know, when you're listening to this, you're already feeling the penalty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That, and you've been feeling the penalty since you, felt, since you sent the, uh, to a various degrees, depending on your sensitivity emotionally, mm. since you sent the email because yeah. the mistake was made then. But what we need to see is that God does not judge these mistakes. Mm. God knows that you lack an education in love. God knows that unless you engage this process more emotionally, you're not going to gain this education in love. And part of doing it emotionally is learning to take personal responsibility for the decisions you make. Mm -hmm. And that means full responsibility. Mm -hmm. You do something right, you'll then receive the joy of knowing that you did it right. Isn't that wonderful? When you do something wrong, you'll receive the, the feedback going, oh, you did the wrong thing there. Mm -hmm. And that's wonderful too, mm -hmm. because you'll learn from both conditions. Yeah. But if you don't do anything at all, or you do some things only when you can share those things with other people, mm -hmm. then obviously you can't then take full responsibility for the positive or negative yeah. outcomes yeah. that involves other people. Yeah. And unfortunately, you're also putting yourself in the power of other people. Mm -hmm. And Graham, you do not trust me mm -hmm. because you're afraid of putting yourself in my power. I have never decide, ha, taken power over you and you can't even feel that yet. Yeah, yeah. Right? And this is, this is because you have power issues of somebody taking power over you yeah. in your childhood. You've not worked yourself through that particular things. And as a result, you unwittingly give mm -hmm. away your power exactly. just as you have done to me or to Mary and I in this email. You're attempting to give away your power, which is the exact thing that you're afraid of. And someone taking it over That's you. That's the irony. The and we irony. don't want it. Yeah. But you you all you're so confused yes. about the issue of power. There's there's hurt in you that's suppressed. And so you, you So you not can't trust somebody who you can trust yeah. after seven years, yeah. right? Yeah. But you still don't trust them. But in the end you give power to the people you don't trust. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And at the end of the day, you know, that's because of the fear that's there that you're not acknowledging. Yeah. And also this desire to have a parent, parent look after you and, and guide you so that you don't seem to make a mistake. Yeah. And God, God's, you know, obviously God, God is a lot more gentle with you, Graham, than you believe God will be. Mm -hmm. And 
And honestly, God's very concerned that every person sees their mistakes. And God is very loving to every person, whatever they, in whatever mode they choose to make their mistakes, even if it's purposeful. He is, he is the most loving being in the universe. There will be penalties associated if you take person, per, like purposeful actions that are out of harmony with love. Mm -hmm. We know that your email to us was not a purposeful action out of harmony with love. No. But it was a purposeful action to make us responsible, yeah. which is not loving. And it was a purposeful action to avoid your own fear of making a choice of which you take full personal responsibility, yeah. which is also unloving. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can see that those two things are mistakes yeah. and work your way through the emotional reason why you do them, it'll help you greatly in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe to finish, we can contrast with Rui's um Yes, so email. for Rui and Graham here, what we're trying to do is help Graham see what a person who takes more personal responsibility would do yeah. and what a person would do if they did not have the parenting emotion yes, involved. the desire for The a desire parent. for some kind of parental control over the situation yeah. and what they would do and the fact that they wouldn't give away their power to do something yeah. to somebody else or try to make somebody else responsible for what they're or doing. Or even to just get approval. No. So we have that a lot. We have people write to us and say, look, I've got this idea. What do you think? And, and in the end, they generally want us to do it as well. <laughs> yeah. right? It's your idea. You do it. <laughs> yeah. And also, if you really feel passionate about it, why not do it and feel your way through yes. being responsible for those actions that you take and what happens And what happened result. and what the outcome was and yeah. why it didn't work as well as you expected and yeah. all those things. All of those things occur because there are things in us that are out of harmony with love and they naturally have their attractions to correct. If we're really sincere, we'll engage the process with God, do the things we desire to do, feel the feedback that God's giving us, adjust ourselves into a place of more love mm -hmm. and then redo what we desire to do, not, not walk away from it, not make someone else responsible for the love or the lack of love. Yeah. None of those things would we do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. here's an example, Rui, whoever you are, we've not met you. Um, <laughs> I'm getting to know Rui a little bit. Well, we're getting to know you a little yeah, bit through yeah, emails. Yeah. But, um, but here's an example of a person who's taken a different course of action with a gift yeah. related to the assistance groups, yeah. just to, so that Graham can, and others can see the contrast between one type of action and the other. Yeah. So he says, hello, dear Mary. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My deepest gratitude for all the wonderful arrangements. So he's referring there to the um, assistance groups. Yeah. Ivory Palms Resort seems to be a great option and not expensive. Mm. Through the booking process, I noticed that some of the attendees, including myself, may prefer to share a townhouse or villa rather than booking an apartment, mm. since rooms are separated and the price per person is considerably lower. Of course. I thought that offering this possibility without further disturbing you and Jesus would be a loving act to others and self. Very much so. so we agree. So he already he, we agree. We, yeah. He already is demonstrating. He's thought about it and he thought, okay, I don't want to make Jesus and Mary responsible for what I'm doing. I would like to offer a gift of some kind. Yeah. I, I want to do it myself. I want to develop it myself and whatever. And sure, he's open to feedback about it uh, yeah, as, we'll as we'll on. learn. Yep, yep. But, but but he's wanting to do it himself without placing extra burdens on somebody else to do it for him. Yeah. Which is yeah. loving. Yeah. yeah. So he's pondering this and he said, that's when I came up with an idea. Yeah. I'm going to create a simplistic platform for this purpose so that your team could possibly share in the FAQ entry on my blog or share with anyone who is wondering the same thing. Yes. If you feel this might be a good idea, no problem at all if you feel that at this time you would prefer not to use it. I created the following page. He's got the link to the page. So he's already even done it. He's, it's already <laughs> completed. He's not even posing the idea. He's saying, I want to do it. this loving thing and here it is, I did it. I did it. You can take it or leave it. Yeah. So that's taking a lot of personal responsibility for a gift. It is. Yeah. He's already done it. He's already produced it. He's yep. already spent the time doing it. Yep. He, he, he's, he's taking the, even the risk that it, nobody might use it. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he's, not, he's not even being concerned about that. It's quite a pure thing. And it, he's, thinking yeah. of, he's thinking of himself, but he's thinking of other people and their convenience. Yeah. And he's, think, he's thinking of other people because he thought, oh, that would be something he would like. Yeah. And then he realised it's not available. And so he thought, oh, I'll create it then yeah. so that anybody can use it. Yeah, yeah so that's really, really, really loving yeah. act. Yeah. Yeah. So he explains how it works. 
people who enter their data will get an email and they can find other peers interested in sharing their staying. Yeah. In case you feel like this might be a good option for this and upcoming assistance groups, please let me know if you have any suggestions. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can redirect this email to someone who you feel can check this possibility with me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And he's a So he's not even placing here. upon us the responsibility of doing anything here. We don't have to do anything. Yeah. Now, we love engaging this kind of thing because yeah. we don't have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we finish up doing some things just to help out with this situation. So in his case, there's a few considerations he hadn't made with regard to responsibilities yeah. and so forth. Not I, his personal ones, but the responsibilities that each individual who involves themselves yeah. on the engagement of the process need to take for themselves, which we highlighted to him and he's dealt, some, dealt with as well. Yeah. Now, what I like about this is that Rui has demonstrated right from the beginning he had a desire. Mm -hmm. He desired to give birth to the desire. <laughs> he gave birth. <laughs> he gave birth to the desire. Yep. <laughs> so he got pregnant. He gave birth yeah. to the desire. <laughs> he, he, he percolated the thinking of a pregnancy. <laughs> yes. And then he went, oh, what am I going to create? I'm going to do this. It's it didn't it. take the gestation period. was not long. No. <laughs> it didn't take him years and years no. <laughs> to work out maybe he I should do that. He didn't arm and ar and get caught up in the fear of what if I get feedback? What if it doesn't work? What if it's a terrible yeah. idea? What, what if, if, geez, what if I end up? <laughs> you know, sharing with someone who's really, really unpleasant. He yeah. just went, this is, seems like a loving thing. I don't I, want to burden the people who are already giving me a gift. Yes. I'll make a gift instead. Yes. And I'll do it, give birth to the idea. I will make the idea come about. I'll present the idea to the people who might want to use the idea mm -hmm. through the different means that he has available to him. Yeah. And, and also on top of that, he was willing to receive some feedback about the entire thing. Yep. Like... Um, and not a feedback, but it wasn't feedback he was demanding mm -mm. Uh, at all. And he wasn't placing any burden of responsibility on us no. to make it more loving for him or less loving for him or yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. So. And I receive an email like that and I'm like, wow, that's really kind and thoughtful. I Very. visit the link and I immediately write back to him and say, I think there's some ways you can be more loving to yourself here. Yeah. Here's some suggestions. Because he wasn't being loving to himself. Yeah. And we needed to point out some areas there where he wasn't being. Yep. And, and he, he took, them, took on them on board. He said, thank you. It feels actually much better now. Yeah. And here's and the final he product. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and as a result, people are using it. Right. I don't know. Well, I'm not involved. I'm ashamed. thinking so. <laughs> <laughs> of course they probably would because yeah, it's like... It's it, a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing to do. Yeah, and yeah. it's highly likely people will use it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope they are. It's, hope a, they are. it's a great thing. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but, but the contrast is very, very great here. Yeah. And that's what we wanted to help you with, Graham, to see that yeah, here, can you see, he's, he's had an idea. It's a personal idea. He's already done it. Mm -hmm. He already went ahead and did it. He's yep. done it. Yep. Um, he's not placing the burden or responsibility of decision making upon anyone else. Yeah. At all. And I should probably mention with Graham, Graham actually approached me with his idea of the share accommodation and said, what do you think, Mary? How could I let other people know about it? And, and that I, in itself is making them responsible, that, making us responsible. He, he already engaged me in that and, yeah. and I wrote back and I said, look, Graham, I don't have any ideas, <laughs> but I know, you know, there's Nikki's forum, but you need to talk to Nikki, Nikki about, about it because he's not responsible. <laughs> yeah. So um, so even at the beginning, yeah. he was not even giving, he wasn't pregnant and giving birth to the idea <laughs> without first involving an addiction, yeah. which is to alleviate some fear that you have yeah. of getting it wrong. Yeah. Exactly. That's the addiction yeah. to alleviate the fear. Yeah. So, so we see a lot of people doing this where they say they want to help divine truth on the planet, but they basically want us to make all the decisions for them and take the final responsibility. Yeah. And, and honestly, we don't feel that your motivations are very pure under those circumstances. No. We feel there's quite a lot of addictions to avoid fear, yeah. and we're not into avoiding fear. No. And we're not into helping you avoid it either. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we've got, you know, we feel that that fear needs to be confronted. But also there's, there's not the acknowledgement of the unloving condition that is involved as soon as you want somebody else to join you in one of your desires. Yes. And it's a terribly unloving thing that yeah. you do, actually. Yeah. You're trying to involve other people in the, in producing and having an outcome for your desires. Yeah. And that's, that's an unloving act. Yeah. And of course, unloving acts go, there's penalties associated with unlo unloving acts from God's perspective. Yeah. So. Whereas people like Rui, 
we had people like um, Maureen or Motti, as she used to be yeah, called. Yeah. She um, she decided I want something that you and I have thought about for a lot of time. For years, for years we've years, thought about. We knew it's a lot of work. Yeah. For years we thought about making short clips from our videos that answer specific questions. Yeah. yeah. Now Maureen didn't even know we had that desire. Didn't even she have any She was watching the clue. videos. She thought I want to give a gift to the world, not to us, yeah. to the world, to make short clips out of this stuff so that people can come along and watch a little bit and get a little bit of truth. Yeah. She started doing it on her own channel, on her own. On channel. Her own. Yeah. She created all these clips and then she contacted us She created us and a said, good 100 or 150 clips right up front, right? Yep, then said, I've been doing this. Well, no, we, we heard you, about it before then. Because one of, because Lena and Igor saw these yes, clips being made and we go, oh, we go, Motti's doing this. We'll see how it goes, and if Motti's really dedicated with it, we'll try. We'll, we'll try and do something that benefits everybody with yeah. it. You know, yeah. so so yeah. we're just waiting to see how yeah. it goes, yeah. and eventually what happens. Maureen, I can't remember if she contacted us then. Yeah, or? she did. Yes, yeah. she contacted us said and said, "Look, what I've, been, I've doing. been doing this. If it can help you in any way, yeah. then let me know how." Yeah, and so we did. So what we had to do is develop a scheme that would actually be rep repeatable and mm -hmm. and uh, and also be able to be automated on a yeah. computer, uh, so that w the whole process can be automated in terms of uploads and everything. Transferring it. Between we designed a clips yeah. channel, yep. which we've always wanted to do, yep. but yep. but just haven't had the resources yep. or the yep. time to do. And as a result of her effort, there are now a couple of people now yep. doing those clips. Now th all that came from her desire. She she had the pregnancy she percolated the <laughs> no, idea yeah, she gave birth <laughs> she gave birth she thought no i'm doing this yeah. i love doing it actually she created on her yeah. own back without yeah. expecting any engagement on our part whatsoever yep didn't even involve us for ages yes and then came to us with a gift very similar to Rui, and yeah. said look I'm i've done this. this um if it can help you or if you have any feedback yeah. let me know so then we checked it out we found that it had some problems in terms of automation and few mm -hmm. f so forth that we fixed it took me quite a few months to fix actually yeah, yeah. but but eventually we fixed it we gave her a set of guidelines she was willing to engage those guidelines she in, wasn't all proud and this, going, is, my oh, creation, this is my creation i'm, I'm not going to do that yep. what a pain in the neck yep, and yep. all that is and all those kind of because things. her underlying desire was to give a gift to, to others yes to, to serve. serve yeah and that's her underlying gift and and as a result of that, she she then did, she, we then Took could engage board. a process yep. where I could automate, and now you know we're uploading a good fifty to seventy clips a month yep. on the average, just from one or two people, and mostly from her still, yep. because because she's dedicated to the project still, and as a result, we're slowly working through. I think the, I think she's only up to two thousand and eight or something now, <laughs> going from the oldest to <laughs> going the newest, from the oldest yep. to the newest of yep. the, all of the material. And it's going to take many months or years, unless there's a few other helpers to yeah. help her do that. But she began this gift and she was willing to take the feedback. She was even willing to address my technical issues. She was willing to follow direction. She didn't want, she didn't have this addictive engagement with us as, oh, give me the approval for yeah. this and make, yeah. and many people since have tried that on us and yeah. we've just said, no, you're not yeah. suitable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're involving too much of our time now yeah. and you're not suitable for the job. And She's doing it because she has a heartfelt desire to share the information with the world. Yeah. And she's doing it. And as a result, she's taking personal, full personal responsibility for her action. And her, therefore, her mistakes, her, but she's also getting the rewards of being oh. responsible for what she does that's in Correct. harmony with love. And now there's 350 or so clips up on our Clips channel yeah. as a direct result of a person taking full personal responsibility for the gift they desired to give yeah. to others, yeah. others that they do not even know. Yeah. 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 So there's yeah, another good example of what can happen if you take more personal responsibility in the giving of your gifts to others, rather than trying to involve a third party or trying to involve other people in the process so that you can get some other addictions, addictions. met and particularly get your fears met, you know, your fears allayed mm -hmm. through the process. So what we'd recommend to you, Graeme, is the next time you come up with a great idea, and we know you have many of them, <laughs> engage them now for yourself. Do the time, spend the effort, yep. do what these other people have done. Work through your fears, mm -hmm. your fears that you're going to get it wrong, that you're going to have to fix something that goes wrong. <gasps> that people might get angry with you. People or, getting yeah. angry and upset yep. with you and projecting at you, you know, and all of these other things. Work through those fears, engage the process, and you'll learn a lot in the process. And then if you'd love some feedback from us. 
we'd be happy to give it. But if uh, we suggest to you that if you do it that way, there's a higher likelihood too of us being involved in, in yeah. the gifts that you give. Because if you look at the other people, you can see that we've been involved in them because we can feel the love that's present there mm -hmm. and not the avoidance of fear yeah. or the feeding of another addiction to have a parental, you know, parent role mm -hmm. or placing us in the position that where some kind of cult leader has to take responsibility for your decisions and so forth. Because mm -hmm. that's certainly not things that we're going to do. No. Yeah. yeah. So it's been great to share that with you, Graham, yes, and Graham. hopefully you've benefited from that. Yep. And uh, we feel this issue of personal responsibility, the we, we, reason why we raised it here in this situation is we know you well, but there's mm -hmm. many other, many hundreds of other people who send us similar emails yep. who never get a response. Yep. And the reason why they never get a response is because they always want us to do something for them uh, rather than giving of the real gift. Yeah. And they always want us to take the action. They all want us, always want us to take the responsibility for the action. The cost of doing taking the action even always mm -hmm. falls upon us. Many of them don't even offer to pay for our work or anything. They just go ahead and they want us to do the whole work and then they take credit for the gift. Yeah. And, and honestly, we're not very, very interested <laughs> in such things. <laughs> And even though sometimes we think they have very good ideas. Yes, that's true. We're not interested in carrying them out yep. because there's too many addictions involved in doing that for somebody. Yeah. 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 It also takes a large amount of our time mm -hmm. because if we do all of these things and we have priorities with our time, which we've already discussed. Yeah. If you watch the FAQ series on Jesus and Mary's dealings, you'll see that we have a particular priority list with regard to use of our time. And if something doesn't fit into that priority list, yeah. uh, then obviously we won't engage it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to probably um, record another feedback session following this one, which is going to elaborate some more on some of these concepts that we've talked about. about and particularly on the concept of personal responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, taking yeah. personal responsibility is a loving thing yes. to do. Yeah. Putting the responsibility in the hands of other people is a very unloving thing to do, not only to yourself, because you're now not going to benefit or have from or having learn. the rewards yep. or learning from the process. But it's also unloving to them mm -hmm. because it sets them up. In particularly, it's unloving if, if they have an addiction for power or control or glory or attention. Mm -hmm. you, you set them up to feed their addiction. And that's a very unloving thing you can do for somebody who has those kind of addictions. Yeah. It's also unloving if you demand something of another person uh, that they haven't offered to you. So. Um, so that's also unloving. So there's quite a w few ways here that, that this particular kind of email, although seemingly innocent, yeah. is quite unloving. Yeah. And we'd love for those people who send these kind of emails to us to address those unloving behaviours that would be fantastic for their growth in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good day. <-o. laughs>